Hey guys, Corey here with Sea of Green. Today we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison and showing you how the SOG 650X performs next to some of the top industry-leading lights. What we've done is we've hung all of our fixtures at exactly the same height from where we're going to be taking our measurements. And in order to take the readings today, we're going to be using a calibrated PAR meter, which is the Light Scout quantum light meter from Spectrum Technologies. Remember, this is one of the most important metrics you can be looking at as a grower when making your purchase decision. As the PAR meter doesn't lie, it tells you exactly how much light the, the unit is producing. Remember, it doesn't come down to how many watts the light uses, but how many U-moles or micromoles that the light can put out. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the 1,000 watt double-ended HPS from Gavita. And so this light has had enough time to warm up and we'll go ahead and turn off the surrounding lights to make sure we get an accurate reading. And we'll give it a second here. Again, we're at approximately five feet from the light fixture with the 1000 watt double-ended HPS by Gavita. And it looks like we're gonna settle at around 262 micromoles, 263 micromoles. Next, we're going to move on to the newest light from Spectrum King, which is the SK600. This is a 640-watt LED. And again, same measurement at approximately the same distance from the light fixture. And we're getting around 224 U-moles. So similar to the HPS, but without any of the heat issues and using a lot of the benefits that come with LED technology. So we'll move on to our next LED, which is the Phytomax 600. This is a 630 watt LED from Black Dog. I'm sure you all are familiar with this light. We'll take the same measurement at the same distance and get a reading of around 103 micromoles or half of what the Gavita and Spectrum King were able to produce, 102 U-moles, remember that number. And we'll move down to the SOG 650X LED. This light is a full spectrum LED from Sea of Green Systems, uh, around 340 LEDs ranging from 400 to 700 nanometers, 10 continuous bands, full spectrum, we're offering a five-year warranty with an expected lifespan of 50,000 hours. Again, we'll take the same reading, around five feet from the fixture. And you'll see that the SOG 650X is producing around 435 micromoles, or two to 400% more than some of the top competitors in the market. So there you have it guys, the SOG 650X producing two to four times more light than what some of our top lights are producing in the industry. That's the Gavita 1000 watt double-ended HPS, the SK600 from Spectrum King, as well as the Phytomax 600 from Black Dog. So what does that mean? When purchasing a light, you're buying U-moles at the end of the day. It doesn't come down to the amount of watts that produce yield, it comes down to the amount of U-moles, which can then be extrapolated into a DLI or daily light integral value. So there you have it. Check, check us out. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll post all this information on our website. Share this video with your friends, and we'll be seeing you guys soon. Thanks so much, and have a great day.